Welcome back guys to another Clash Royale video and today I want to share with you guys a deck that I've been experimenting with and just having a little bit of fun with and that is the spirit deck as you can see right here with the fire spirits and the ice spirits obviously but it also has the hog rider as well as the mini P.E.K.K.A in there and the great things with this deck are the low average electric cost sitting at 2.6 and that means you can cycle through your cards crazy fast and the other good thing with this deck is both the fire spirits as well as the ice spirits synergizes pretty well with the hog rider as well as the mini P.E.K.K.A. Now like I said I'm just kind of experimenting with this deck right now still kind of figuring out these strengths and weaknesses but i wanted to share some replays showing how this deck works and then hopefully afterwards i'd love to hear some feedback from you guys if you could improve this deck what kind of cards would you change and why feel free to let me know in the comment section below but let's go ahead here to that first replay so here we are guys facing off against a level nine now the season reset did happen last night and these were my first couple of battles since the reset but our card levels were fairly comparable in this battle, and he also has a legendary in his deck, whereas I do not. So I think that kind of evens up the playing field a little bit. Now right here, he's going to go ahead and use the minions in the back. I'm going to go ahead and counter by using the fire spirits in the back. They're going to split up and hopefully take out all the minions, and then I'm going to get ready for a hog rider goblin push. Now the hog rider ice spirit push is actually really effective, and take a look at this right here. Hog Rider going in with the Goblins. He drops down the Valkyrie, which is normally a really good counter, but because of the Ice Spirit freezing it, and also the Zap Bell, the Goblins actually kill the Valkyrie, and then go on to kill the Mini P.E.K.K.A., and then go on to do some decent damage to that tower, and with one push with that Hog Rider, as well as the Goblins and the Ice Spirit, I'm able to take that tower all the way from full health down to 400 health. So I have a really strong lead so far in this battle. Now the only weakness so far that I'm noticing with this deck, or sort of one of the weaknesses, is it doesn't really have an efficient answer to kill the Princess. So right here, normally I would use a Poison Spell, Arrows, or a Fireball to kill that Princess, or use my Princess on my own. But unfortunately, I don't have any of those in this deck right here. So I have to be creative and use the minions there. But unfortunately, in the process, the World Judge does sneak his way in there, doing some damage to my tower. Now unfortunately for my opponent, his Zap Spell doesn't kill my Goblins. But he is using a level 10 Royal Giant versus level 10 Goblins. So that is still fairly comparable. And the Royal Giant probably would have only got two more hits on that tower. And by the end of the battle, the amount of health I had left on that tower, it probably didn't make too much of a difference on this battle. Now right here, now that I know my opponent has a Royal Giant in his deck, I'm going to save the Mini P.E.K.K.A. to counter it. So as soon as I see that Valkyrie in the left hand lane, I know he's probably setting up for a Royal Giant push. So down goes the Mini P.E.K.K.A. and then down goes the Cannon here to distract the Royal Giant. But unfortunately, his minions in the back taking out my minions. The Zap Spell isn't enough to take him out, but the Ice Spirit taking all of those out there for one Electric Cost, finishing off those minions, and also finishing off the World Giant in the process. And the Ice Spirits are actually really strong, considering they only cost one Elixir. So if you guys haven't tried them out yet, I highly suggest you do. Now right here, I'm going to sit back and wait for my opponent to make the next move. I know he has the Mini P.E.K.K.A. in his hand, and I can't go in with a Hog Rider push just yet until he uses that Mini P.E.K.K.A. So right here, he's coming on the right-hand side with the Valkyrie, as well as the Mini P.E.K.K.A. and the Princess in the back. Gonna go ahead and use the Mini P.E.K.K.A. to counter his Valkyrie, and also use the Zap Spell, hopefully to allow my Mini P.E.K.K.A. to kill his. But in the end, it didn't really work out. Now he's coming in with a pretty strong push here on the left-hand side. Gonna go ahead and use the Fire Spirit to kill the minions, and then use the Cannon, the Goblins, as well as the Mini P.E.K.K.A. to kill the Royal Giant. Right here, I'm allowing the Princess to target my tower because I want the minions to kill her. Then I want the minions to go back on a counter push and hopefully do some damage to that tower. Now, so far, things are looking pretty good. There's 23 health left on this tower. And with 11 seconds left, I know I can wait to the overtime period and then just use my Zap Spell to finish off the tower. But right here, just playing it safe, killing his push. I don't want his Royal Giant doing too much damage to my tower. So I did end up using the Zap Spell on defense right there. But the Goblins do manage to sneak in on a counter push on the right hand side giving me that one crown victory. Let's go ahead here to the next replay. So here we are guys, facing off against a level 10 this time, and my opponent is actually using a minor cycle deck, so this should be a pretty good battle. Now I'm gonna wait till I get the 10 lecture, wait and see if my opponent makes their first move, and then if he doesn't, I'm gonna go ahead and get impatient. But he ends up dropping down the Ice Wizard in the back. As soon as I see the Ice Wizard on the right hand lane, I'm gonna try and sneak in a quick Hog Rider attack on the left hand lane with an Ice Wizard in the back for support. And take a look at this, Ice Wizard freezing the Inferno Tower, allowing the Hog Rider to make his way to the tower, getting two hits off in the process. And the great thing with this deck is having all cheap cost cards, is you can cycle through your cards crazy fast. And even though I use a fair bit of Elixir 
on the left-hand lane, Estelle had a lot of cards available to defend the right-hand lane, and in the process, we didn't take any damage to my tower. But the one weakness that I'm noticing with this deck is sometimes I do miss having Meteor units um, to tank, like an Ice Wizard or a Valkyrie. So like I said earlier, just kind of experimenting with this deck, I might go ahead and switch out the Goblins for some guards and see if that doesn't help out. Now I'm going to sit back here and build up that Elixir and wait till I get to 10 and see if my opponent makes the next move. Like I said earlier, I always prefer to defend first and then set up a counterattack. But right here, my opponent doesn't play anything. I hit 10 Elixir, so we're going to try and do a Hog Rider Fire Spirit push again on the left-hand side. This time, he does end up dropping the Inferno Tower in time, and I don't have the Ice Spirit to support it. And he also zaps away my Fire Spirits. But in the end, we actually won that Elixir trade, the Hog Rider Fire Spirit combo versus the Inferno Tower Zap combo. And then right here, going to go ahead and use the Goblins to counter the Ice Wizard with the Zap spell to kill the Spear Goblins. And then in the end, I only took one Ice Wizard hit on my tower, so definitely not too bad right there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use the Minions in the back here, just kind of test the waters and wait for my opponent to commit to one lane, and then try and do a quick counter push on the opposite lane. So right here, going to go ahead and use the Hog Rider Ice Spirit combo on the right-hand side, and then use my Mini Pekka to counter his push on the left-hand side. And my Hog Rider does make his way to the tower, but his Mini Pekka makes his way to my tower. So we're going to trace some damage here, but in the end, we actually take out his tower on the right-hand side, or take it all the way down to 126 health. So we definitely won that trade right there. Now he's coming with a quick counter push with the Miner to support the Spear Goblins. Unfortunately, I didn't predict the location of the Miner too well. As you can see, I used the minions on the left hand side. And as a result, I was forced to use the Ice Spirit as well as the Fire Spirit to counter those Spear Goblins. Now I kind of thought the Ice Spirit would one shot those Spear Goblins. But I forgot that my Ice Spirit was only level 6. I kind of forgot to level him up. So that's why he, or that's probably why he didn't one shot the Spear Goblins. I'm not too sure if an equal level Ice Spirit does one shot Spear Goblins. But definitely not too bad though, because we didn't take too much damage on the right hand tower. Now, right here, just cycling through my cards, I want to defend the left hand lane, and I want to wait for the perfect opportunity to go in on the right hand side to take out the tower. Now, the only thing I really miss with this deck is having a second spell to finish off a tower in a situation like this, because I do have to use two Zap spells to finish off that tower. But we do end up getting a Hog Rider to the tower, giving me the one crown victory. Let's go ahead here, guys, and do a live battle. So here we go guys, facing up against a level 9. Like I said, the season just reset yesterday. And this is just the first couple of battles that I've had since the season reset. But honestly, a lot of the level 9s that I face at this trophy range end up having higher level cards than I do. Like, a lot of them have level 11 commons and stuff like that. Level 8 rares. Um, so definitely not too sure how they manage that. I want to be stupidly aggressive and just honestly have a lot of fun with this. Oh, that Zaspel. See, the problem there is normally a Zaspel doesn't kill, doesn't one-shot, sorry. Oh, that's not good. That princess is gonna is gonna wreck me. Normally a Zaspel doesn't one-shot the Ice Spirit, but because my Ice Spirit is only level 6, and honestly I just haven't bothered upgrading it yet, because I don't use it too much, and I kind of only use it for the stun. I don't really need it for the damage, but now seeing that Zaspel one-shot it, I definitely feel like I should upgrade it there. But we ended up doing some decent damage to the tower, and we also defended pretty well. And that's the great thing with having a low Elixir cost deck like this, is I can do a crazy push like that, and then I also have enough Elixir left over to do a defense. Let's go on the left-hand side and just mix things up and see what he does. He might not zap the Ice Spirit. There we go, zap that, boom. Ice Spirit, zap combo, dirty against minions for sure. Let's go ahead and use the cannon to counter this. Um, I don't want to use the mini P.E.K.K.A to counter that because I want to save the mini P.E.K.K.A for the giant and that's what I meant like earlier when I said that I kind of miss having a meteor unit like the Valkyrie, the Ice Wizard, something else to use in those situations but right here let's go ahead and use the mini P.E.K.K.A and then do a quick cycle on the right hand side see if we can't catch him off guard with this and this and ooh this is going to be interesting level 2 Sparky boom 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 with the Hog Rider on the right hand side let's go ahead and use this I'm expecting... Oh, this is not good, boys and girls. This is totally not good at all. Let's go ahead and zap this. And then we're going to use the goblins here. And the ice spirit. Come on, ice spirit. Freeze that, please. Thank you. And actually, we defended that amazingly well, guys. That was actually really good. I'm so surprised that we did not die right there. Um, really liking this low electric cost deck. Even though my opponent is level 9, he's got a level 2 sparky. So I honestly don't even feel bad. Um, let's go ahead here, use this cannon right there to counter both that and that. Kill that princess. And let's go ahead here, drop some minions in the back. Just keep cycling through our cards. We don't need to play offensively at all. He's probably going to zap these fire spirits if he does. Uh, not too bad. Let's go ahead and drop this here. 
Goblin's here to kill that. This here, zap this. And see what I mean, guys? Just crazy cycling fast. Even if you make a small mistake, it's so easy to recover from it. He's actually going to rage quit here. Let's go ahead and go for the for this other tower here. I do want to try and get this three crown, but I don't think there's enough time. I do need my crown chest, so that would definitely be pretty cool. But in the end, three seconds left. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, not enough time. A thousand health left on his tower. Definitely would have liked the extra crown for my crown chest. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Please let me know what you think about the deck. Like I said earlier, if you have some feedback, if you have some thoughts about the deck, cards you would change, let me know why you would change them and what you would use to replace them. Honestly, guys, just really interested in, in hearing what you have to say. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.